Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Golfing Dad's Tavern. Welcome to the first live show, everybody, together. Together. Cheers. Well, kind of Cheers. together. We've got our special guest. Who's joining we do. Us. We do have a special Bring guest joining he's us. Yeah, he's on location uh, not very far from where we are today, though. He was with us today, and uh, we're going to join from his studio. Welcome, Hello. Lee. Lee, cheers. 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 So first question, uh, as we always start with, what's everybody drinking tonight? Well, I think we're, we're all drinking the same thing. All <laughs> drinking a little, little, little bit of well, except, for, except for Lee. Lee's got his Mountain Dew. Lee's got his Mountain Dew. I, I got my normal Mountain Dew. Zero. I think I don't want to drink bourbon out of a mug with a handle anymore now. <laughs> I'm drinking uh, out of our with that, Dave? Golfing Dad's Tavern official mug. I've got, uh, got a, <laughs> I've got, uh, one of our uh, great... Uh, Supporters, supporters, sponsor, sponsor, <laughs> Airport Road Vineyard and Winery, and uh, I got a little. We all got a little Weller 107 here, so drinking some fancy stuff tonight. It's a fun times. Uh, I mean, it, I feel like something's going on this week. Nothing, nothing. There's something. Something's going on. Kind of boring. Something. The Valero took something. Yesterday, it, it was. Ended yesterday. It was. Uh, it was a fun, uh, thrilling finish. Thrilling finish, and uh, Dave, you had, uh, I had the best this pick. Week. I had Cooch this week. So top five, top five, tied for third, tied for third. Uh, I had a, I had a tie for thirty ninth. Yes, you did. My uh, my boy Ricky, what did he get? Tenth, fifteenth, 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 fifteenth for fifteen. We tried to I tried to will him in to. Uh, that that tore up in Augusta that's going on this week. That tour event. That, it's, that's uh, just small event. It's well, it's bringing two of the tour major tours together this week. Well, yeah. and they have to play for four days. <laughs> it's true. This is true. Have to play for four days, right, Lee? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I mean, it's uh, it's going on, but as it as it stands, I think our standings didn't change. Our standings don't change. No. So I did uh, not improve that much. I improved a little bit. So with <laughs> with that being said. You're in the lead. I'm in the lead. And we're going to get into this because this is Masters Week. Yes, it is. Dun, dun, so, dun. Uh, our happy hour is going to start early, and we're going to go right into happy hour with talking about the Masters. Let's recap Texas really quick first. They Ooh, played a tournament in Texas, and, uh, and Connors so won, and yeah, it's now Masters Week. Good, good. Good <laughs> recap. Good done. Good, done. good okay. recap. We'll, we'll talk a little about Texas. We'll talk a little bit. I mean, that is you know the tour. The tour has had this problem of recent, where they have a problem getting to the cut with completing play on Friday, and it again continued this week after their fog delay that they had. They had a really big fog delay, um, so they played in threesomes through Saturday and got caught up. Um, but uh, a lot of start and stop, and when are you going to play, and when you're not going to play, and how many holes are you going to get in, which is never fun to do. I have a feeling we're going to see that this week. Uh, there, there is the weather. Now, here's the one good thing you have this week. Smaller field. Yep. Um, you don't have 150 players or 144 players. You have 88. 88 players this week. 88. We're going to live tour. Smaller field. And I will say this. You don't have 88 players this week. Remember, Weiss withdrew, so you're down to 87. Okay. 87 players this week. Um, 87th mate masters. So, hey. There you go. Now, and you hinted at, you said something about live there. I will say this: I did go out to the live event last week on Thursday to the pro am. There was another golf event. This there week. was. It was in Orlando at one of our favorite tracks. Yeah, Orange place County we National. played thousands of times. It seems like um, at Orange County National, and um, it was pro am day, and I caddied the pro am at Bay Hill. So having been out there and seen what the the Aura around the day is like, I have to say this about the Lyft Pro Am, it is way more laid back than a PGA Tour Wednesday. Um, and by laid back, I mean tour players walking out of the clubhouse and sitting at picnic tables with family and friends and no one talking to them. Like so, no one bothering them. But isn't that, isn't that what they're trying to promote is a more fun atmosphere with Liv? So it's not this like – the PGA Tour is very, uh, let's just say prestigious – Structured, prestigious, yep. gold. Yeah, some people might say stuck up, um, but it has that like heritage about it, which yeah. is a good way to put that in. Um, but Liv's not trying to be that. No. So well, you said you did say something interesting about Liv on how they do the pro am. 
Oh yeah. Um, so on the tour, you get a pro-am player, you play 18 holes with them, boom, done. Uh, on the live tour, um, there is no shotgun. They go off one and 10. They do split tees. And the player only plays nine holes. So you have a tour player that plays with you on the front nine and another another one that plays on the back nine with you. So you switch tour players. You play 18. You play 18. The amateurs play 18. The players only play nine. I kind of like that in a sense that you get two different pros. They do that on the LPGA tour too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but here's the the caveat on the other side of it is we've we've all been to Bay Hill. We've all seen the pro am there with Tiger on one and Phil on ten, and some of those guys have ponied up twenty thousand dollars to a charity or something like that. I think the Bay Hill pro am now is twenty seven or twenty eight thousand for a foursome. Yeah. But to play with Tiger. And if you were paying that to play with him for nine holes, you could still say you played with Tiger for nine holes. Their argument is is that every land tour is good. Yeah. You get to play with two players. Now. Right. Which so, I like. I kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. Like you could have played with Tiger and Phil. Lee, what's your what's your thought on that one, Lee? I mean, with that, you could think about most of the pros use that as a as a practice round anyway. And most of the time, they're only playing nine hole practice rounds, so that it actually opens it up for them to play their practice round. And you get the best of both worlds; you get two pros, right? So yeah, no, that makes a lot. You know, so that was uh, that was an interesting day out there. Um, a lot now, of, are they pro? Are you getting the same pro from the same team? Or are you getting like one I didn't from look high flyers and one from? I didn't look that deep into it. So okay. that's a good you, only get you only get cliques. You only get cliques. <laughs> yeah. right. Crushers it's or magic it's sticks in the or whatever. And in the afternoon, right? <laughs> so, um, which I think would be the most unique pairing of anything. <laughs> so, uh, Mike likes the nine and nine. Uh, Mike does. It's, it was seventy-five or seven grand. It, was, it wasn't seventy-five hundred. Mike, it was seven grand um, to play in the pro am on live. Um, and a lot of people out there, I will say this, were a lot of their sponsors yeah. playing in the pro ams. Well, I mean, look at just look at their um, TV ratings. Like, you're not getting the viewership. You're not getting the yeah. viewership out there. And even when you're watching on TV, like, I'm interested in wanting to go watch an event for Live, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'm gonna like. I think we probably saw more crowds at uh, Hilton Head Lakes yesterday than <laughs> you're gonna see at a um, Live tour event. The one thing I will say, I saw some comments of some people that I know were, that were out there at the event, and their comments were that you had um there wasn't a lot of standard seating around any of the greens okay so they had their club 54 that you had that party yeah you gotta pay extra you gotta pay extra for that for the club 54 and and there wasn't a lot uh so there wasn't a lot of seating just normal seating for people to go and sit at and then there wasn't enough food around the golf course okay so i'm gonna ask you this take the food out of it from seating standpoint and We've all been to minor league baseball games. Right. Would you compare it to a minor league baseball game? Like where you can sit on the lawn, where you might not have a lot of seating. So it's it's more of a talking, family you're environment. You're talking like a double A. Triple A is a little. Yeah, I'm talking like single double A. Like I'm talking lower. A. Like, so. It or was, Cape Cod Baseball League. Is it, it was more, high school field? So 18th green at uh, Cricket Cap. Okay. Right behind the clubhouse. Yep. Yeah. Um, they had like Club 54 set up around it there were concessions right behind that so there was no general seating where you could just walk up and sit down in bleacher style seats so there's no grandstand behind it no there was the club 54 that okay set up so they so they're trying to push that once again they're pushing that party yes mode uh yes. of that i mean um, like i've said all along with live i think they have a great kind of concept or a great idea but it hasn't come together and it's not well executed well, and you said it yesterday yeah. when we were talking about it. Go one or the other. Go team or go individual. Yeah. yeah. And they're they're pushing these teams because that's where the money is going to be in the in buying the franchises of the teams, almost like the minor league baseball setup. Um, but th as they're pushing that, we have if you you can sit there and keep pushing that, but you're also showcasing the player and the individual, and that's where you're you're posting pictures of. Brooks winning $4 million. Yeah. You're not posting the team photo of who won the, you know, you don't, see I don't even know who won the team. Right. Exactly. Tonight we saw on TV, Sebastian Munoz's comment 
of not wanting to make a birdie on the try and make a birdie on the last hole and cause a, make a bogey because they had a one shot lead in the team event. He wanted to he wanted to secure the, the he wanted to, yeah. he wanted the par to secure the team event. Ugh. I mean, when was the last time you didn't try and win if you're a professional golfer? Well, and that's that goes back to the statement of do one or the other. I think yeah. I think go all in on the team event. Like you can have the best player on the team or whoever has the lowest score, but focus more on the team events. And you know what? Have a team coach, have a team, like you have team captains, but have like someone out there with them, like make it entertaining. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, if we're going entertainment, we're going to go down the road of UFC and WWE merging. So we have real wrestling and fake wrestling. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think that was the perfect thing today. Like I, like I told you when you said that, showed that to me, Dave, I was like, you know they wanted to post this on April Fools, but everyone would have thought it's April Fools. So they're yeah. like, "We got to wait three days." <laughs> yeah. So, Lee, what's your opinion on the uh, on the uh, team versus individual? Well, like you said, we saw Brooks won the won, won the individual. Like, I have no idea who won the team. I yeah. never saw anything yeah. on it. So, I saw a post from Liv today, and it was like from the their end of year champion thing they posted on there where they were all like spraying champagne and i was like is yeah. this from today like from orlando or is this from your end of year event and if it's from orlando i think you're over celebrating one event a little bit yeah <laughs> but i think in in watching some of the um interviews today you know a lot of the live golfers was just like hey brooks played well last week it was you know brooks played well or sergio yep. played well or that there was no mention of this group, this team group played yeah. Grant. They may not have been allowed to talk about that on Augusta, but they were just <laughs> mentioning individual names. And I feel yeah. that's where they've been doing all along is, you know, they've been throwing out the individual names because that's who people know rather than saying, oh, you know, the high flyers have won two weeks in a row now. <laughs> like, but I will tell you, when you walk into a live event, all you see are the team names. Yeah. They're but, everywhere. But on they, the top of Club 54, huh. all the team names go across. They have the driving range set up by team names. Well, that's that's the thing. Also, like I think it's it's like we said before, go either all teams or or all individual because when even when you're watching it on TV, like you see the teams on the side, you don't see the individual score. Like, I don't know what, what I'm reading half the time watching <coughs> when I would turn it on for like five minutes to try and watch it. I'm like, are it's like, who, it's like, who's winning? Like I remember watching Ready Player One, which is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. We can sell eighty percent of a viewer bef before seizure is induced. Exactly. Like <laughs> you're putting so much out there. Like pick a lane and stick with it. Right. Yeah. So, but I mean that that gets lost in translation. But that's a different that, story. That is true. But that, but I mean that segues <laughs> into now. Like so, we're merging these two. Uh, for the first time, we're merging these two into the into the major to uh, yeah. Augusta, um, and it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. And we were talking about this earlier. So this is a good way to kind of segue into what the Masters is, what everyone's talking about right, right. now. Um, we'll get into our picks and we'll get into that stuff a little bit later. But everyone is talking about like what's gonna happen, what's the Champions Dinner gonna be like, what are these they people gonna be, be like. Champions Dinner tomorrow. Tomorrow night. night. Oh, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. So there, what's all of that going to be like? What's it like on the range? And we, and we had the Golf Channel on today, and a lot of it was them shaking hands. Um, giving hugs. Giving hugs. Good to see you. Yeah, it was kind of like that high school reunion. You haven't seen the friends in a, in a exactly. while. Exactly. It, it was nice to kind of see that. I, I, as much you as people the want the drama. the media is blowing the drama out of proportion? It's surprising. Yeah. They never do it's that. It's surprising. <laughs> but I, but I, honestly, I feel the golf media is not trying to blow it out of proportion. They're just they're saying what everyone's thinking. Yeah. They're not trying to, like, poke the bear. They're, they're stating the obvious. Well, but here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Are they stating the obvious or are they saying, okay, it is what it is. Is there a rivalry between the two leagues? Yes. The players are still the players at the end of the day. And you're talking and I think about Freddie said that very well you're, today. You're talking about the most elite golfers in the world. That and you know can can make this game look easy in their sleep. Yeah. Um and so you're they're all in that inner circle. Half of them live down in Jupiter anyway, or they're you know, golfers you don't see you have the one offs, the Jason Days that live in Ohio. Ohio. But for the majority of them they all live in pockets together. So they all run the same inner circles. They all play the same golf courses together. 
great. Well, they were saying about, uh, like, first of all, like Jason Day, the only way I'd live in Ohio is if I lived in Jason Day's like house and compound. I, I'd but, be okay in the golf house. Yeah, I'm golf saying, farm, just that's just that part. Just yeah, that part. Just the golf Absolutely. Golf um, and Lee, I, I mean, I led you look that up today. That was unbelievable. Yeah. I would I would move there for that. Yeah, I, that, I would I would go to that's the only reason I would go to to live in Ohio. But the they were saying that Dustin Johnson still plays with a lot of these PGA guys in his charity events yeah. in their like just afternoon um, practice rounds and things like that. We're a lot of medalists. Yeah, they're all they're all they're where's all Tiger Bryson medalist? Medalist, <laughs> they all, yeah. Um, and so. They're still friends, and that's what – and like you said, Freddie Couples put it great today of like, I am not upset. I don't dislike anybody that's on the tour. I'm not attacking anyone that's on live. It's when they say something bad about what – where I've played, made my career. My I'm employer. Gonna, they're talking bad about my employer. Yeah, I'm going to talk bad about theirs and and retaliate – not retaliate, but – Rebuttal it. Yeah. Back. Right. And he's, at, at the same time, he's like, I've said the same things about myself. Yeah. Don't look it up. And that was and that was perfect. <laughs> they're trying to point out like what he said about Mickelson. Like that's where I feel the media is trying to poke the bears. Anyone who said anything. Oh, they just they just they're stoking that. Know, it's, it's, it, 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 yeah, they're putting it out there in big bold letters, like, and they're gonna run with it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's 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 gonna be interesting, but I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's fun. I'm hoping it's just the Masters. I'm hoping that the one reason I don't want a live player to win is not because they're a live player. It's because that's just going to make this more drama. But it's also going to make it the same way <laughs> with the PGA wins. So I found it interesting this week that only one live player has been invited and is on the media center list. Cam. Cam. Yeah. Phil I noticed that. won the Masters how many times? Yeah. But, okay, so in that – Bubba's won it twice. Yeah. Here's the, like, next, here's the next question. If a live player wins it, we were talking discussing today on exemptions. Winning the Masters comes with a PGA Tour exemption. That's going to be an interesting one. It comes with the players Ooh. exemption. The players exemption. Well, Cam was also exempt back into the players this year as the defending champion. Yes. And he was. They, they took his parking space away. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. What if you win that? I think the PGA sticks with their. These players just suspended. Yeah. Yes. I think it's going to take you're at least minimum five years. So you're four years from now. Yeah. From any kind of discussion to bring the two sides back together. Yeah. A melding. Yep. I, I think, and I think Norman needs to go and probably Monaghan before that happens. Oh, 100%. The bull. Yeah. It's not, it's. But is Liv still going to be around in five years? That so that was the other well, thing. Well, you know, if you look at Mike's comment there, you know, there was twenty six thousand people total at the gate for the Liv event. Bay Hill does that in a day. Bay Hill does thirty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I somebody said when we were there, um, I was actually hanging out with the Ashton Dormy workshop. They were part of tournament gifting for the pro am. And people were coming through, and a bunch of the Liv people came up and were talking. They claimed to have sold thirty nine thousand tickets for the week. Thirty nine thousand tickets for the week. Yes. yes. Yeah. The week. There right. weren't. There were probably a hundred people. So I will tell you, knowing how those sales work, a lot of those are comps. A lot yeah, of those, yeah. like yeah. like sales, doesn't mean actually sold. Yeah. Sales mean it, yeah, it's distributed. There were that many tickets distributed. <laughs> so <laughs> bottom line number is completely different. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, like wait, 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 wait. Uh, Steve McMillan with a name drop. Um. This doesn't say hashtag. <laughs> no, because he's he's too uh, asleep to say those words. Yeah, I was a little tired today. Uh, so uh, let's. Uh, we want to talk horse. We want to talk. We got a lot to talk. This is this is the Masters, and we have, according to Gary Player, the fourth best major of the year. <laughs> the fourth best major, exactly. <laughs> Number and four. We're here with tour well, guide Barbie. I mean. Lee. Let, let's let's get our picks out of the way and how they're gonna navigate. <coughs> All right, we'll get our picks let's out. Let's get the way our here. picks out of the way and then we can delve into. All right, so uh, tour guide uh, Barbie. Uh, and... We have to go back and we have to go back to a previous episode because I made my pick already. I think it was our first week live. You did, but we'll get to we'll get to you because as the uh, reigning uh, lead on the leaderboard. Yeah, we already know. Uh, we, we've uh, I'm on the leaderboard. Um, I'm going with the the man 
uh, the myth, the legend, who has not lost on Easter the last in years. the last two years, including here in uh, beautiful Hilton Island, South Carolina, at the Heritage, uh, Jordan Spieth. Good pick. Jordan Spieth is my um, pick to win the Masters. Uh, Thank you very much. All right. Now that I've made my pick as the leader in the clubhouse, uh, <laughs> I just turn. I can just turn to look at him and, and give him a, a hard time about this. So your pick that you made eons ago, eons ago. Uh, I am going with one Rory McIlroy to complete the Grand Slam this year. Um, I feel like it's time, and uh, yep, yeah, I'm just going to take Rory and say he's going to complete the Grand Slam. <laughs> All right, Dave. I'm going back to a guy that I've picked at least two other times so far, one other time so far this year. Yeah, pick him up. I'm going with Jordan Spieth's best friend on the tournament, Justin Thomas. JT. And I will say, JT, and we said this we said this today, Lee, while you, while you were here with us, we said this today, that JT, um, he plays he plays bad going into a yeah, uh, major, but then in the major, turns it yeah, on. Turns it on. <laughs> yeah, he stumbles his way into it, or hey. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I, JT's going to capitalize on that backdoor PGA win, and... <laughs> And, but it's also this. This is the one thing about the Masters. It's the only major that they play the same course every year. It's the same exactly. course. They set it up the same, except when they're extending tee boxes. So uh, we'll have a, a little bit of a different course this year. But for the most part, they are playing the yeah, same the course every year. Every Sunday is going to be within a couple inches of the exact same spot every year. Like the Open and the U.S. Open, you will repeat the same course, but yeah. not in. Back to back years, yeah. so it's like you'll play the same course again. So, all right, Lee, uh, with uh, with the fourth pick in the draft, we'll let you make your picks for this week. I'm gonna stir the pot. And I'm going. Oh, Cam oh Smith. hold up, hold up. You going live? I'm going are live. You, are you going? Are you going live? Yes, I like it. Yep. I like it. Are you going DJ? No, Cam Smith. Bubba. Cam Smith. Cam Smith. Cam Smith. All right, you're going. You're going with the mullet. Go with the mullet. I can't well, get one. He has so, no hey. hair, so that's you know. Lee, I think when we uh, when we play golf tomorrow, um, that's the great thing about all of us being here is we get to play a, a yeah. bunch of rounds of golf. Um, I think you need to wear a mullet tomorrow. You need to find a wig, and just for Cam Smith, you need to have a mullet tomorrow. Uh, rock go. the hockey hair. Go with it, and I think that's the uh, the way to go. Uh, yep. Matthew, we got Mike's going Tiger JT. Matthews right now. Brooks. Oh, Brooks. Uh, Brooksy. Brooks could be a good pick coming off a big win at Orange County National. I Here's the thing. <laughs> this is what I have missed. That I know they don't do on the Live Tour, but I miss the drama of the hatred of Brooks Kepka for uh, DeChambeau. Like, I miss the eye roll. I miss the, oh, I can't oh, yeah. stand that guy. Like We're buddies now. Oh, yeah, now they have to be buddies because everyone has yeah. to be nice and be like, uh, yes, the Live Golf Tour is great. It, it, it's I, in I must the contract. My logo at the Masters. I want to be like, blink twice if you uh, <laughs> if your family is held hostage. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, and they were talking about this today. And yeah. I, I want to see your opinion, Dave, here, is uh, the, Live Go the Live guys, and I'm not trying to stir stuff up, but I kind of am, is they're wearing their team logos, their live stuff here at Augusta. And that's in their contract. And some of them even said they didn't feel comfortable with the tradition of the hair. Smith has a plain outfit yeah. with them. Yeah, like but in case at, the, at the same time, it's <clears throat> if so, you know, you have your team names, you have this. Is it really any different than wearing Titleist or Bridgestone or TaylorMade. You're still, RBC I mean, team. I mean, what's his name? Um, you know, Tim Cup was promoting, you know, a lumber yard. So at, at the end of the day, we dude know, wipes. We, we know, Harry Higgs has dude wipes on his chest. Yeah. <laughs> we know who the live golfers are. We know what they're doing. But really, at the end of the day, 
is a logo on your shirt any different than the dormy shirt you're wearing, right. the Under Armour shirt that I'm wearing right now? At the end of the day, is it really Can any we, different? Let's, let's talk about this. Hold on quickly as Star Wars fans. That is a Buckethead shirt. I mean, let's call it what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's a good shirt, though. It is a good shirt. It's a good shirt. <laughs> it's a good, I want a Mandalorian one like that. Yeah. That's what, that's what I want. Uh, but, you know, here's where I would say the difference is. So your sponsors are one thing. This is you're promoting your separate tour. Like but, no, uh, no but, one's wearing a PGA. But as your as Cam your Young team, wears I, a Major League Baseball logo. Yeah. Uh, you're, 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 <laughs> but he doesn't play Major League Baseball. But, no. <laughs> your your team in Live Golf is your sponsor. No, it's not. Well, it, well, I mean, it's your travel sponsor it's now. It's strange. Tra- here's, here's the other thing, and we've talked about this, Lee. We've all talked about this. Their contracts state they have to wear their logos when promoting the brand. They're out like, that's promoting. my that's my thing. Like you're you're forcing them to do that. Yeah. Where it's not like you're sponsored by someone, so that's like, hey, thanks for sponsoring me. This is okay. I, I agreed to play on your tour, so now I have to follow all your terms and conditions. Right. This is like if I bought an iPhone and I had to like every time I walked in somewhere, go, I have an iPhone, and had to announce it. Can we do that tomorrow? Yes, it's we like can. welcome the most. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, think it's, mm-hmm. I don't like that they're that they're promoting that uh, on there. Uh, Every or, time you pick up a wedge effects wedge, you got to say wedge effects. <laughs> so uh, wedge effects, we'll just uh, have that for, uh, we'll just do our uh, our, our shameful shameful play <laughs> right, right here. The wedge effects. So just. Uh, Shameful. No, okay. All right, we'll go back to. <laughs> yeah. What, so every time Steve or I hit a shot tonight, we go, you know, thanks sub seventy golf. Yep. You got to. You got to. You got to shout Budget it out. Effects. <laughs> so, um, all right. So I mean, that's it's it's going to be interesting. I mean, this is going to be the conversation: is live the PGA Tour, live the PGA. So Tour. if we're if we're going to go down this road, are we going to address what Norman said? Greg, Lee, did you see what Greg Norman said about Not what's going to happen in the live player ones? Being around the green, everybody's gonna be around the green. All the all the live players are gonna be out there supporting. But what them. happens if it's only Cam Smith that makes the cut? Are there all those guys yeah. are leaving. No, they're gonna stay around for the, so for the weekend. Let's that, go that back to the sponsor contract. thing real quick. You know, we're talking about them being sponsored. Well, they're being pl- paid to play on a tour for a contract, so that's kind of a sponsorship. Okay, I'll give you that. I, I'll give you that, Lee. They're getting paid whether they win or lose. <laughs> There's That's no true. Time. That might be the difference is yeah. that you're not being paid to play on the PGA tour. You're paid if you win and perform, which I've always said is the best form of sports. Like, cause I always say yes. major league baseball, you're paid in like the end of your contract after you've already been good, you're paying yeah. to like, but I mean, are the live contracts any better than the Albert Pujols 10 year deal? Uh, are they you're going to go, with, I know what you're going to say. Please say Bonilla. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was, let's go with Bobby Bonilla. <laughs> or how about you know Ken Griffey Jr. is the third highest player on the Mariners right now. No, it's for the Reds. The Reds, Reds. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. The third highest player on the Reds. Yeah. But you know it's at the end of the day, it's still golf. Yeah. It Frank is. Couple said we're still golfers. Yeah, and it's going to come down to that. But I think if they're going to do like if they're going to come on the end, that makes it feel less like the Masters and more like the Ryder Cup. Right. So it's interesting how I don't like that they're making it feel that way. I think part of the way that it's been made to feel that way, we're from the beginning when all of this broke in the interview that Phil did with Alan Shipnunk. I think the tone that that set was really where this started. Yeah. True. When you look back at what Phil said in that interview, and when you think about, okay, Phil went out there and, you know, did scary. It scary set bleep. the stage. He set the stage for what this was, mm. and that turned this into what it is today. Well, so, true. so you know, we're, we'll all be watching the round on Thursday. We're, you know, the par three on, on, on Wednesday while we're there. <coughs> when the pairings do come out, you know, is... Pairings the, are tomorrow, right, Lee? I don't remember. I you think know, the pairings come out on Tuesday. Is, no, the pairings come out on Wednesday. You no, know, they come out Tuesday, I think. Are the announcers going to make a bigger deal out of Liv and PGA Tour guys being paired together than anybody else? 
Oh, 100. percent They're gonna. That's gonna be yeah. said. Jim, Nance, they're gonna have that in Jim Nance's earpiece all day. Uh, <laughs> Jim Nance, we got Felder this year as well too. Again, so it's it's like I wish that this wasn't the conversation for the Masters. That's I, I was excited when uh, we were going to the Masters, and then I was excited when this actually came out. I'm like, oh, this is gonna make it add that to it but the closer it gets to it i just want the masters to be the masters yeah yes exactly. and i want them to and, and i and i think the players are respecting that like i think that that's the players are um are talking about that it's people like greg norman that are promoting this narrative that he's just trying to promote live golf instead of just being the masters yeah. So, but <coughs> with that, we're going to be there on Wednesday. On Wednesday. And we have somebody going with us who was there a year ago today. Today. So, today. so Lee, Lee, talk about that a bit. So, we're going to be there Wednesday. This is our first time. This is, and I'm sure for a lot of, you know, the people out there in internet land, that the golfing dads, you, you, your dad, the Masters is a bucket list item. We've all entered, the three of us sitting here, you know, and even you, you know, every year that rank, that email comes out, every year, enter the drawing, every year you get the same rejection letter. It's a tradition unlike any other. Yes, it is. <laughs> and the, my jaw exactly. dropped this year, you know, I was the, I was the fortunate one that, that got the tickets this year. You were my first phone you, call. You sent me the text and the image from the email. Yes. And I went, like, I froze for a second and went, that, just, that exists? Yeah. Like, they actually send out a winning email? They're not just doing this to toy with us every year? Yeah. You, it's you like the board blog part. Oh, I the, 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 the minute I got that text. Yeah. I was at work, and I was like, what? that's real? Like, that was really my reaction. Mm hmm like, and I know, like, my, my dad has been fortunate enough to, yeah. to go with uh And we want to friends. tell the unfortunate part that I almost deleted the email by accident. That's why. That is why <laughs> when you were flying here, I said you need a briefcase <laughs> to your uh, wrist that you just take through security. And when they ask what's in there, you say master's tickets, and they'll let you go. They'll like, understand. Yeah, but I fly out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. So what's the security there? Is this heaven? Beep. Is this heaven? <laughs> no, it's Iowa. No. Um, that's actually the shirt I have on underneath yeah. this. But yeah, it um, was just, it's one of those, the, the email does exist out there. You can w win the opportunity to purchase these tickets. You're giving people hope. <laughs> Dave's giving people hope. Okay. I mean, he also yeah. won a driver too. So yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> a gift or, of forgiveness, or he's just the luckiest sob. He did. I will. I will say he had forgiveness with yes. that, with those drives out there. Yeah. But, um, it was. Uh, but yeah, it 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 will be a tradition unlike any other. What are uh, we doing? Here? So no, just keep keep, keep uh, talking. Yeah. So, Lee. What is, is as we're going on Wednesday, you're playing tour guide Barbie for us. What is the uh, first thing we have to do when we get there? The first thing, you're, pot, you're passing by the, the pro shop to, to go in the shop. Get it done, get it out of the way. Okay. okay. The madhouse is before you get to the actual course. As soon as you get done there, you can stop in and get you something to drink, something to eat. And then head over to the first fairway. Are we um, are we setting an over under? Because you're mentioning food already, and we, everyone knows the tradition of Augusta and the cheap food prices. Are we setting over unders on pimento cheese sandwiches for the day? I'm going with the pulled pork sandwich. Pulled That's pork. You bingo right there. Lee knows what I'm talking about. Go okay. with the pulled pork sandwich. Uh, I'm going pimento cheese. Unpopular opinion: pimento cheese overrated. Very unpopular. Opinion. Unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. Also a popular opinion, question. Say it out there. We're not going to get sponsored by them because I'm going to say this: In and Out Burger overrated. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, so, I agree. I agree. Thank wow. you, Lee. Thank you. I like my double double animal style. How, yeah. Who's going to have the most Masters plastic cups? 
Yeah. That's, there we go. Ooh, can we make a snake like they do in Wrigley in the in the pictures? <laughs> like we can. You know who's gonna have to drive us home then though? Lee. Lee. <laughs> Just sitting on like the uh, the ninth uh, green of the par three tournament, having a snake go behind them. Um, there's no food on the par three, I think. Right? Yes. I, there's no food so. on the par three. Um, in all reality, you go through the gate, you get through security, and you're just walking by the practice area, and you're just in awe of the majestic view and grounds. So I mean, we'll be just, we'll be on multiple times this week. Um, tomorrow we're going to be on. We're going to be live we're from Lee's. About, we're, li- we're live from Lee's. So there's. Um... Uh, so if you want to learn about uh, customization, we're going to have a an after party at uh, at Lee's tomorrow. So uh, uh, and we're going to maybe mention what our we're going to discuss our our champions. We're going to have so we're going to it's it's a Masters themed week. Yep. So. Uh, we're going to talk about. We'll be back on later in the week to talk about Wednesday. Talk about what, what we saw there, yep. but. I think there's yeah, and unfortunately we can't go live from the masters. I know. No, we don't have media credentials to do that. Live Obviously. from the masters parking lot. <laughs> um, so, but we so, could do that. I know we could. <laughs> um, we could go live on Insta. Um, so, Lee, what was your what was your favorite thing that you like did or saw when you were there last year? So I went twice last year to be you know kind of a little bit wow, of a snob right here. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> <I'm a brag. laughs> So the first day I went was with my daughter. We went to the Augusta National Women's Amateur Tournament. Because I originally won those tickets back in for 2020, and we know that got pushed off and pushed off. Yeah. We finally got to go last year, and then a buddy of mine ended up getting the ones for the practice round that we went to a year ago today. But he ended up not being able to use them, so me and my I took my brother to it. So going the first day with my daughter who's always been my golfing buddy to watch there and be at that place was totally awesome and then hanging out with my brother between 16 and 6 was absolutely it was just awesome nice sure. That's you have to go down obviously go see 12 and 13 but 16 and 6 is an awesome place to hang out do you think they'd let me bring this in Lee and hit one on 12 like <laughs> no no all right, all right. I bought a, I did bring a putter head last time. <laughs> oh. You did bring, you got a sub 71 and got some pictures in azalea bushes, if I remember correctly. Yes. Nice. Nice. All right. My king. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, can I bring like I'd want to bring like a scarf. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna autograph it. Like I mean that would be you have a Newport 2? I do have a Newport 2. I mean... You I have could, two Newport 2s, the, actually. The GOAT is there this week. <laughs> I know, so I know. The GOAT is there this week. How about we set an over uh, Tiger score... All right, well, so first... Take the weather let's say, into consideration. Let's say first. Does Tiger, Tiger make, make the cut? Tiger make the cut. See, now we have to take the weather into account. Yes. No. And we haven't seen him play. But I'm going to go yes. I'm going to go Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go yes, just because. I mean, although did he he made he didn't make the cut at the Open. He didn't no. make the cut here last year either. It was his first tournament back. Yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah, that would yeah. I wouldn't have he made the cut at Riv. He did make the cut at yeah, Riv. I would like. I I trust me. I'd love to see that Tiger making the cut is good for golf. Yep, always has been, always will be. Okay, what would you? So I'm like, this is this is an out there question. Uh, what would you put the odds at? At eighty three, <laughs> no, he makes he wins his eighty third. He wins the Masters to get eighty three to take the ties take the record out right. That, you know, there's the Wait, idea hold that on. here here are the prop bets on Tiger at Augusta right now, thanks to DraftKings. <laughs> Tiger Woods any bogey free round plus seven, only plus seven, only plus seven. Tiger Woods hole in one on four plus 180. Hole in one on six plus 130. Uh, Tiger Woods breaks course record plus 50. Tiger Woods to make the cut minus two. Minus two. Wow. So if you put a $1 bet down, you're going to win 20 cents basically on that. You're going to lose money betting on Tiger. <laughs> 
So does that mean so? They got they well, got yeah. It. So a one dollar bet would be would be a fifty cent payout. What are his odds to win? His odds to win were fifty to one, or the Tiger was <coughs> eighty to one. Eighty to one. Okay. Patrick Reed has better odds than Tiger. I don't like that. Sixty-five. Can he, I mean, can he get away with grounding his club in a bunker? Tiger or Patrick? Patrick. Well, he always gets away with it. Then he gets caught, like, later on. I mean, um, we're not in Tiger the Tiger to make an albatross is 200 to 1. There's been, I mean, when was the last? Didn't somebody make one last year? I mean. I don't know if it was last year. There was one recently in the past few years, I thought. Two, generally on Sunday where that flag is. Mm -hmm. everything what do you think, right? Pip? 15 would be a good one for them to do that at. So, I mean, it's interesting how, how that's going to gonna happen. But let's – so we've talked about uh, you being there. But now, like, the course itself, uh, we're extending a hole this year. We are extending a hole this year. By 35 yards. By th Again. The, the talk has been, is everyone going to lay up now? What do you what – do Lee, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, because they're – Hmm, that's a tough one. Because they used to be able to bring it up over that corner, Race Creek, and let it roll down the hill. But them extending it out is going to bring that way more into account. Hmm, I don't know. That's a tough one. It's going to be dependent on where they're. Where I think they're if you've got getting. 235 or less, you're going. You're going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even off that hanging lie, because it brings the hanging lie back into the equation. It does. Um, I think the hardest part about that shot, for the from a layup perspective, is where do you lay up to? What's your, talking, what's your distance? Well, okay, that front right flag on Sunday. Yeah. You can't throw it all the way up there next to Ray's Creek and expect to get one close. No. You've got to lay back to be able to put some spin on that shot. It no. Hit a fuller shot in. Um, <coughs> you, you're going, like, iron, iron, and then almost. No, you'll just you'll hit – You'll lay up with. You're gonna hit eight or nine iron to hit wedge to yeah. hit lob wedge. Yeah, you're gonna iron wedge. Yeah. yeah, you meant the same thing. Uh, well, no, I was going <laughs> iron off the tee. No, oh no, you're not gonna iron, iron off the to tee. lay up. No, no, you'll hit. You'll hit driver. Everybody's gonna have to hit driver through it off that tee. Yeah. Um, I think. I think you'll, I think you'll get some people hit three wood. What was that, Lee? I think some people hit three wood off. I that. think, especially if they're going to lay up, you're going to see a lot of three woods because you can turn it over easier. I yep. think the hard part for me and them lengthening that hole, and I understand the why behind it. The problem that I have is the one thing you all he, we all know about Augusta are the roars and the big things that happen on Sunday, especially because of the way they set the golf course yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you've taken away the roar, the roar, the big roar for the two circles on the card. I feel like you're taking that away. Right. If you make one, it's going to be huge. But you you're really taking away that that great opportunity for for the for the bigger swings. Well, out there. let's let's go back a couple episodes here now <coughs> to the to the balls. I think you're asking the question now. To the distance oh. reducing balls. Oh, Do they move the can can or will they move the tees back up then? No, zero chance. But so you, but then you're going to play that that hole at 35 yards longer. But they don't have to use the ball. They won't adopt the rule. Yeah, they won't adopt the rule. Maybe. But that, but that brings to my question. I was, I had a similar question to that. You added the ball because of the long ball hitters, but this they extended back for the long ball hitters. You obviously, like you're saying, can't do both at the same time. Right. But most courses, I mean, you look at now, like a tee box. You used to see a few years ago. The back tee box was so far back. Now there's some where you look back at a tee box and you're like, I need a, a shuttle bus just to get back to that tee box. Well, exactly. That's open where they added those tees at Piner. Yeah. Like it's, you can do that kind of stuff. And I feel there's different options for different courses. I don't feel like a, a hey, we're going to give you the option to use this ball is the, is the right thing. I, I like kind of Augusta extending this hole. Um, 
to bring this in here, but you can still move the T box up a little bit from where it is, right? And still make it. You regional. can move T markers around. Yeah, I, I, I think you're. I, I think that you will see it literally two steps from the back of that box on Sunday. Now <laughs> I'm going to go back to our live versus PGA Tour because that's going to be the theme of this of this Masters. <laughs> I feel, and this is just my own personal opinion, that live is going to be the ones that try to go for that in two. Mm -hmm. to say they're the power hitters, to say that they have the... Because like you said earlier um, when we were talking, that if the PGA ever adopted the uh, restricted flight ball, Liv would be like, well, we don't have it, and you can bomb away, and they can be that bomber's tour. We're like, adding steroids into our ball. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel like they're, they're almost going to tell DJ, Bubba, uh, Brooksy, everybody on 11... You hit it as far as you can and try to go for that. Here's the thing. You can sit there and say all you want that to them. These guys are out there to win. Yeah. They're going to hit whatever shot is best for them at the time. Not but what listen if to Greg say you need to go for it. Not, <laughs> well, yeah. not you. Greg. I know not me. I know, I know, Here's I the thing. I <laughs> got lead on Sunday at Augusta on, in 1996. On Thursday, I can see somebody like DJ – Going for he if he bombs a drive out there on Thursday, <coughs> going for it in two. Not on yeah. Sunday. If if DJ is in contention on Sunday, yeah, and or if you're three shots back and you need to make a move, you got to try and do something. You got to try and do something, right? But I do I do think Thursday is where you're. That's where that's where I'm saying I'm not. They're not going to go for it every day because you, no. you're right. You're also going to look at Norman and be like. Uh, you blew a six shot lead. I'm not listening to like your advice on this course, right. but exactly. You know, we're going to be like on, th <laughs> on Thursday, they're going to say, I'm going to try to do this on Thursday. If it doesn't work, they're not going to pull a tin cup and every day try to go and hit it in the water. Yeah. Man. Well, yep. Like, well, it's, uh, but you, well, you know, I, I would love to see Bubba Watson, like knock one out there. First one, hit it, miss, roll down. He goes up, takes his drop. And then the last day, he's in contention and just keeps doing the ball, <laughs> drop, ball. ball. I'd love to see someone do it. I just picked Bubba. <laughs> yeah. be like John Daly at the time he played Bay Hill and made a what, 19? Yeah. Sergio on 15 two years back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, I mean, this golf course, to me, I think the only problem that I have with Langton in that tee is that you miss that the big swings yeah. of roars when you make these holes longer. Because those roars affect everybody else out on the course. And especially if you have – the Tiger roar is different than everybody else's roar. Yes. Um, well, that's like we were watching earlier today over there at Greg's when they were talking about it. He's like, that wasn't a birdie roar. No, they, and they, they know. They, <laughs> the players they know, know what the roars are. When you're on the golf course out there, those guys know what's going on. Um. So I think the um, um, you know the, I think the the hard part that we that we look at when you look at this golf course is we've all come used to these Sunday charges and these things that have happened on Sunday. You know, Jack on Sunday in '86, or you know, Tiger's final round in '19, where I mean, great shots were hit, rewarded, and I think that that is a huge thing for me is that. Will we miss that by lengthening 13? Only time will tell. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, we can sit here and debate that till the cows come home. Um, and I think In that's what they do. It's true. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, I think that's a good thing. And I think that with this week uh, being Masters Week, this is a good way to kind of start off our week. Right. We've, we've got you, um, we've got you covered this week um, with a lot of stuff. Let's go around. I got a good favorite hole on the golf course that we played today, or on Augusta. On Augusta, okay. <laughs> We're talking about what we played today. I know, but although I'm, that answers too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, like See, hole one or two of the par three. <laughs> uh, I like fourteen today. Yeah, for multiple reasons. Yeah. My three putt par. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and my so, one putt birdie. Somebody, somebody drove a green and three putted for par. Um, and someone but, did not drive the green, made birdie, and won the hole. Um, but let's talk about what, what's your favorite hole at Augusta? Uh, 
I, I know mine. I can say it's 12. Mine's a tie for 12 and 16. Yeah, I was going to say 12. I, I would say 13. 16. The par three? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I feel there's always been like such clutch. Like you got Tiger shot there. You have hole in ones there. Like, yeah, and it comes, broken ankle. Yeah, it comes. Oh, that was that was not par three. That was not par three. That was nine on the par three. Yeah. Um, it it always comes down to like sixteen. Like you have to make a shot on sixteen if you're in contention. And that's what I like about sixteen. But I feel last year it was twelve. Twelve was a decider. Twelve was yeah. Twelve takes people like, out. Uh, what do you watch? Is. Jordan put. Six balls into the water one year, something like that. I mean, it was a lot. You and watch, then he, and then you walk up to the next tee box and said, I, I got the tee, don't I? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I mean, I, 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 mine's a tie for 12 and 16. Yeah, I think those are two phenomenal. I mean, the whole course it looks phenomenal, and we'll see it on Wednesday yeah. and we'll get to tell you, uh, what it's like. Hey, what's your favorite all out there? Number 13. 13. Ooh. Okay. The whole we talked about. Great yeah. view and risk reward. So, uh, so because 13 is your biggest one, we just talked about it. Are you okay with the changes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All I right. think you will end up getting more pushes to the right, which actually may end up making the course longer. But hey. All right. My, so, I'm my go now two cents. Question. What's your favorite Masters moment? Of all time, could be somebody one, could be a shot, could be something that's. So I, I got a, I got a couple. Um, Tiger nineteen is up there. Um, I think every one of us really appreciated Tiger nineteen. Mm -hmm. Jack in eighty six, um, and then the one moment for me that also is up there was when Mike Weir won. Mm -hmm. He beat Len Matisse. Yeah, and. I walked with Lenny when he lost the Players' Championship to making an eight on Sunday. I walked with him on Saturday and Sunday in 98 when he made the eight on Sunday. And when I tell it, like, I never wanted somebody to win so badly. And then he hit it left and couldn't on 10 and couldn't couldn't get it up and down. Um, I, I will say that one was tough. To, that one was painful to watch for me. Okay. I I liked Phil out of the pine straw. Okay. That's a good one. That's, that's, moment. that's, that's a good one. And I being a, being an Iowa boy and and a proud Iowa now, I like Zach Johnson's win. You mean the guy who would never win if they short if they take dial the golf ball back? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he has zero chance if they dial the golf ball. Yes. Back. So but, yeah. So the, but yeah, Phil and then what was it? Olaf Abel's albatross on two. Ooh. Okay. Okay. These days have made one on two, wasn't it? It was Louis that made one on two, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, I can always pick the Tiger wedge shot on 16 where it just – it seems like it sat there for so, an hour and fell in. I got problems with that shot. The Nike it. commercial? It's a, But, yeah, it's been so overplayed <laughs> and stuff like that. So, mine, like, I, I love all of it. I love last, like, 19, and we were talking about this because we were watching it before, yeah. is so many people were in contention at that, like, 10, 11, 12 under yeah. number that it was – it was such a clutch one to watch that it was exciting. Like Molinari was winning the whole uh, first three days and was mm -hmm. still in the contention. And got to 12 and, and fell and, apart. And, and you watched the, the misery just happen. And it, it was sad to watch. Like I, 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 oh, yeah. to, I kind of wanted him to win, but then I was like, but Tiger's in contention. Yeah. And I want Tiger to win. Yeah. And like, see, then, you, then you get the collective moans rather than the roar. Yeah, it was, but it was everyone was in shock and everyone was hitting like you had to hit clutch shots and tiger just it's that old saying the cream rises the top like yeah tiger just rose to the occasion and it was amazing to see that um from a shot standpoint and i'm going to live golf on this one bubba on the 10th in the playoff i mean best shot, the, maybe yeah. the greatest shot in masters history like unbelievable like, to be able uh, like, to turn that like that and not like me when i do it naturally like on purpose do that <laughs> shot um True. like it's everyone the next year because i knew people that went the following year they said that's where everyone ran to stand and like look where he hit that shot and everyone was like on tv you can't see how hard that how? shot was <laughs> it's like going to, going to riviera and looking at Jordan's feet shot like yeah. on the edge of the cliff. 
You mean Pebble Beach? Oh, Pebble, yeah. But no, that's Pebble has a problem there because I feel that they have people who like want to recreate that. Well, they put like, Pebble. They put a sign up. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's that's like oh yeah. Like I, I think that there's. I mean, the golf course is just. I mean, there's so many great moments. Um, yeah, like too many great moments. So um, with that. We have a, another thing coming on here in a few minutes. We do. We do. So Let's, I think we're going to have to uh, wrap up our show here. And, uh, and we're going to, we're going to, yeah, there's a, there's a basketball game on tonight. Now I will point out that uh, the outcome of this game has no effect on the outcome of our brackets. No, that is correct. Uh, yeah. For this year. So yeah, Mr. The Matt Donnelly, who lives down, <laughs> down the street from me, is our winner. We'll have to get in contact with him. He'll be. It'll be better if uh, if he uh, actually gets UConn to win tonight. But Drake might have given him a yeah. Drake, yeah. The the Drake curse may. Uh, Drake put a million dollars on UConn. So no, he's got a. It's a million to win. He's got two separate bets. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's the. So UConn's probably like. Oh no. They're both right. like, It's like we got this. And they're both point spread yeah. bets. <laughs> so. Um, Lee, uh, who, who who do you got out of the two tonight? I have no idea. No, no idea. idea. All right, all right. Um, but tomorrow, once again, Lee, tomorrow thank we're you. Gonna see Lee tomorrow. Play some more golf, and then we're going to be more at golf. Lee. We're going to see how Lee makes these fantastic wedges. Like this thing is a work of art. Uh, Lee told me to hit it, and I will not hit this wedge. I'm hitting mine. Um, no, I will not. This is, this is too pretty. Lee, I, I, I will buy another wedge from you, and then I'll hit that one. Like, <laughs> this one, this one's going on the wall. That is a collector's item. Um, it's like a John Daly autograph from the Bay Hill one year. Only two people in the world have it. <laughs> it is. Um, Steve, I'm going to steal your smack of the week this week. Wow. I'm going to steal your smack of the week this week, and you're going to like it. You're going to like the smack of the week this week. We got the Dave. The Dave. <laughs> we have the Dave. We have the Dave. Yes. Um, a uh, nod back to uh, Tag Golf. Tag in Golf. Our, in our interview with Tag Golf. And I will say Tag Golf, um, we did this. We do. We still want you to make a uh, beach towel size, uh, the Dave towel. Um, we also have a few other ideas uh, that we like. But I used uh, your little mini towel uh, the today. And I used the Groovit Mini Brush. The Mini G. And the Mini G and the Mini Towel from Tag Golf, that combination is like a, a black and tan. It is a perfect combination together. Ooh, black and tan. Black and tan is good. See, you like that? And not in a coffee um, pot. And not in a coffee pot. But it, is a, it was a perfect combination like because the magnet, it is a story. <laughs> um, it, it just went so well together. Um, and that little brush just quick while you're on the course you don't have to go back to the bag or the cart yeah. to get the the brush the big the big group brush is still yeah i said I the best the, on the market you know, so. I, I i was actually texting um with nick from group today and i told him i said you know i love the big brush however i i had the mini g on my uh on my belt yeah. today um on and your and batman utility belt on my batman utility belt <laughs> with, your, with your droid uh cart uh, yeah, okay. thing. Uh, I we cards today. should have put more of this on. Go, 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 Jackie <laughs> Golf Cart. Um, yeah, but for Tag Golf, that, that's the mini version of the Dave. That, that's what Steve gets as a gimme. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shoot, the way I put it to that, I don't That's the I first of the many of the, the um, Dave items. I, I was yeah. I was putting them. Yeah, but the, the, the mini Dave is compliments of Wedge FX. Of Wedge FX. Wedge FX. Wedge FX makes the mini Dave. <laughs> makes the mini Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, for that. Uh, yes, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> Greg and I both knew about it. We didn't tell Dave. That was a good surprise. And, and the way he did it was perfect. On the one hole, he just yeah. flipped it to him. Mark your ball with this. Mark your ball with this. Yeah. It was, that was good. Uh, also, <laughs> shout out uh, tonight. We can get them. Um, I mean, we can get them on tomorrow night on the show to show them off. Um, Tag Golf sent us some stuff. Uh, oh, some stuff. yeah. yeah. Uh, not uh, not Tag Golf. Tal Tag. Tal Tag. Tal Tag. Uh, we will we'll show that tomorrow. They sent us some <coughs> brilliant uh, um, towel tags, golfing dads, yeah, golfing dads themed. Tab. It is uh, 
it is perfect. So that's, yeah. and that's a great product that we'll we'll showcase on. We're here. I want to talk have a lot about it. Coming up yeah. on uh, May first, they're joining us. Perfect. So, yeah, they're yeah. here May first. So yeah, I would recommend that show because it is a great uh, accessory uh, for your uh, for your bag uh, with that. So with that. With that, it's Masters it's Week. It's Masters Week. Get excited. More golf tomorrow at PI. Join him with uh, my brother Rob. He'll be on Paris too. Island. But we can say where we're going tomorrow because nobody can get our entourage can't get in there tomorrow. That's true. Right? Yeah. So we say where we're playing golf. We are tomorrow. at they Paris can... Island. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll film some content tomorrow. Maybe we got a little, little content. We got a little, we got content. A little content out there. Uh, we'll put some we'll put some stuff out there. So it was good. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Ling, cheers. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Today. Looking forward to the next couple days. And it's going to uh, be good. It's going to be a fun time. All right, everybody. Don't forget to tip your bartender. Have a good night. <laughs>